Uh, welcome everyone to Vane. This is a first person open world survival craft zombie game. Pretty similar to Project Zomboid actually. Now the uh, frames are lagging a little bit because everything's still rendering in. This game is in very early development and I uh, wanted to show you guys what it's all about. We're gonna go loot some of this house right now for some supplies and we can uh, get started on our journey. Our goal today is just to get some supplies Get to a different area. There is a farm down the road that I want to get to. We're going to set up there for the night and, uh, well, it's not for the night, for the time being. And, uh, we'll go through and explore, find out different things as we go on. This game's been out for a while now, at least the demo is. But it's in super early development. I believe it's been worked on by two different people. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. And, uh... It doesn't have a huge, huge following like I think it probably should deserve. So let's uh, let's take a look. Now this is very similar to Project Zomboid if I haven't said that already. In the uh, in the way that everything ha is interactable, like you can you know search all the different cabinets, you can destroy different things for different uh, you know pieces of materials, put the blinds up here, like, you know, these small things, you can put them all down, you can interact with all the lights in the house, out the house, whatnot. Um, but in also doing that, and, you know, you can also fill the sinks up with water and wash yourself and whatnot. But yeah, like I said, in doing that, there is a catch. Now, if you press F10, you can bring up the help menu here. And then the infrastructure... It tells you that the world will decay over time, including the power grid, water supply lines, etc. So, you essentially have to keep all this functional if you want to, well, keep all the town going. But uh, if we come down here, we can see that the power plant, main substation and distribution substation, basically, are the main things that, you know, keep power to everything. So, I assume that... Each of those will decay over time and, you know, different things will be required to keep them going. So over time, you won't be able to turn the lights off, uh, lights on, sorry, in the houses. You'll have to, you know, figure out what's wrong and upkeep things. But for now, everything works. There's a man who's had too much to drink outside. And uh, so we don't have too much to worry about. And the game is, you know, still in super, super early development, so I don't think we need to stress too much about the whole grid going down, because we're just here to have a bit of fun, here to muck around. We're not playing legit, we're not playing super serious. Now, you can get different guns, different uh, weapons, a lot of melee weapons and stuff, but um, it's not going to be my focus so much. I just need to get a few supplies, and, uh, and then I'll feel a bit more comfortable about finding a car getting out of here. Now you've spawned in, and you tend to spawn in uh, in the middle of the main town. I'm going to see if I can vault this. Oh, no, I cannot. Oh, no, I can. I can sort of vault. It's a bit, um, it's a bit how you're going sometimes, but uh, manage then. Anyways, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of different places to explore. It's not a particularly massive map, but you can play multiplayer as well, which is cool. What have we got in here? Yes. A photo frame. Of course. I don't need a walkie-talkie. No one's going to be on the other end. A muffin. Love a muff. Tea bags, sinks. It really gives you an idea that you can just search absolutely everything. Sawdust is good because you can uh, start a fire with that. Or kindling at least. And uh, there's stoves in all houses or most houses. So you can cook on those and you can see all the different recipes you've got unlocked down on the left here. Which is cool. But uh, I'm more of a fan of, you know, eating out of soup cans. That's just my thing. More survivor-like. Oh, that's the back door. We don't want to open that one. Different radiators in different houses that will keep us warm. They seem to be working. Cool. And there are beds in houses too. That one's got nothing in it. Small pressurized tank. Sounds like it's leaking. I noticed that a lot of these houses have their... Uh, their garage disconnected from the rest of the house. Is that normal? 
Must be. So strange. Poor hammer. Now it's very um it's very picky about, you know, the certain items you need to do certain things. Like if you want to, you know, build certain things and you can press B and that will bring up the building menu. But um you do need like, you know, a hammer or you know, screwdriver, certain things to to craft certain things or build certain things. So you've got to keep that in mind as well. Now, I don't know if it's the same for other people, but I do get quite large frame drops, um, you know, just playing this game. I'm not sure if it's because it's just trying to render everything or whatnot, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I don't have... I've got, like, moderately okay software. Sorry. I've got moderately okay hardware uh, to run games, but this struggles, so just something to keep in mind, because you don't want to be getting frustrated while playing it. And if, uh, if you do try it, this is a free demo. It is on Steam. I'll keep the link in the description. If you do try it and it doesn't run well, you maybe you just need to wait until the devs keep working on it, keep it optimizing, doing their thing. You might uh, be able to play it soon enough. Got a walkie... Uh, sorry, a baseball bat there. We've got a walkie-talkie and a lock, which is good. And you can move all these different things. Like, you can move the beds... Uh, I'm not going to do that because it's very, you know, finicky to do. Oh. And the zombies can uh, can smash through doors and come into the house. So, because we've only got one exit, we should probably... You know what? I'm going to use the butter knife. Because I've used it previously, and for such a small item, it can do some terrific damage. Some good dismemberment. Come on, come on, give us some. Got to target the arms. There we go, look at that. We could take off both her arms. There we go, look at that. Well, that's not something you want coming at you. Ooh dear, looking like a worm. So yeah, butter knife, pretty OP, if uh, if, you, if you ask me. We've got a car here, let's see if we can uh, get this thing going. I'm not sure what the lock-in, like, lock-on radius is for these zombies, but they tend to come and get you from pretty far away. There's a car key in the glove box, which is awesome. Always something to check out. Let's turn this on, let's put our knife away. Oh, there's a running zombie. Some of them do run, so you've got to be careful of that. And, uh... And we're good. Let's, uh, let's get moving. You'll see, uh, you know, for example, the Redford Fire Department popped up there. That's because we just went past it. So if we had a map, it would mark that spot onto the map after doing so, which is cool. Your head doesn't move when you drive your car, so you've got to sort of do both at the same time. You can see some houses are boarded up. I'm not sure if you can do that custom I think you probably can or if you can't yet you definitely will be able to in the future but just up this way is a farm that I really want to check out and I think it's gonna be the perfect spot for us to start a little survival uh, survival nesty type thing Although I might be wrong oh I could not be more wrong just realized I have a map. This is us. This is where we were. That's the fire department. So I'm going to chuck a U-turn. I want to go all the way over here. Hey. Stop it. Jeez. You want to run your car into zombies, but you don't want to go too fast. So if you hit them too fast, you will go flying.
But yeah, so two to, two people are working on this game, two gentlemen, I think. And they are doing an excellent job in my books uh, for what they have. They're, I think this is just like a passion project. I don't know why my panic is going up. Is it because I'm speeding? Must be. Maybe I should slow down. Yeah, okay. Don't go too fast, people. Your character will start to panic. Um, very bit of a passion project, I think, but um, I've been impressed. The uh, you know, the game obviously still needs a lot of work, but I think with some funding, you know, or just some support in general, they could uh, really get this game going. Get like a lot of you know, cool communal stuff going. There's um, you know, Project Zombo itself has a big community, so I don't see why this couldn't uh, do something similar. I've just gone past where I need to go. This video isn't sponsored, by the way. This is just, uh, you know, I've been playing for... Playing a few different times over different updates, and uh, I really respect what they're doing, so... Alright. Here we are. So this is the farm I wanted to get to. Now, you can probably tell why I wanted... Well, except for that over there. Probably tell why I wanted to pick this place. Um, it, one, it's got animals, cows and pigs. Uh, it's got corn fields, which are dead, but I think you can clean them up and plant your own stuff. But it's also remote. And uh, I think one of these two barns, one of these two buildings here, are going to be perfect for us to set up in. Just a quick look here. Turn that on. Just realized this has powers. Fantastic. That is not doing anything. There we go. Got a little quad bike in here too. So we have a repair workbench here to repair our different weapons and stuff if we need. Looks like we've got an air compressor, pesticide sprayer if we need it. It's broken. And a workbench. Workbench, uh, which is really good because we can craft different things on here. It's more of a crafting bench. Can make a ooh, metal, sorry, a spiked baseball bat. Cool. And uh, whatever we can craft, it'll let us know here. And it puts these things in here automatically. So you don't need to do too much. You just need to have the right utensils. The right, right things. Now, let's have a look here. Don't have a heading cut, heavy cutting tool. Let's open that. I'm going to head over to this building, because I think this is the building I want to go to. Oh yeah, this is the one. So we're going to lock that door, we're going to turn on... Oh, hold on, turn on. There we go, turn that on, turn that on. <clears throat> and you can probably tell why I selected this building. Let's turn off this TV. This is going to be our area that we set up a little, a little, uh, I don't know, survivor base in, I guess. We have almost everything we need here. Now, it may not look like it, but we have a bed, pretty much unlimited water. We have gasoline, everything in here. I'm going to show you those one at a time. So, first things first, bed. We have a mattress lent up against the wall here, so we're gonna, we're gonna click move on this. We can't sleep in it because it's not on the ground. And we need to place it, we can't place it too far because we're not very strong. We're gonna chuck that on the ground there. Now I can drag it, so I can pick it back up, go a little bit further each time. Oop, if I can. Bring it around here. Cool. Nice. Alright, I like that. Very nice. Now, I don't want to have to rely on these big lights. So, I'm going to try and get some sort of camping torches and some other bits and pieces. And then I'll be back. I'll try and get this all sorted out. But in the meantime, water. We've got a few hoses here, which is great. So we can wash ourselves. We can have a drink from these. I think there's two in here. 
which is awesome. And it may just be one, actually. We've got a whole bunch of different uh, storage options, which is cool. We have a fridge, mini fridge. And it's got the well car key to what I expect is the Franklin Roanoke. And we also have these fluid barrels, which are full of petrol, I believe. Let's have a sniff. Yep, smells like gasoline. And finally, the greatest thing about this, because this is a cornfield, all of these boxes are full of corn. So we've got food to last for days. So let me get this uh, looking a little bit more homely. And then uh, I'll show you what we've uh, come away with. All right, just not long got back. Looks like we have some unwanted residents. Look at this beautiful night. But, uh... Other than that, all the animals seem to be pretty chill. There doesn't seem to be many zombies spawning out this way, which is fantastic. So, let's head inside. We've got our little camping uh, light set up and whatnot. Should be nice and cozy to come back to. And that'll end our first proper day out in the wilderness. Home sweet home. We've got our camping lantern, we've got our bug spray and our camp mug. Try to make it as homely as possible. A nice warm glow is soothing. And uh, well, I should park my car closer outside. Let me just make sure these are... These are locked. Looks good. Unlock, unlock, no. So obviously there's, you know, plenty more stuff I could do and, you know, pursue, but for now, let's, uh, let's have a nap and uh, let's get a good sleep.